crowd. And you know me, I love crowds. Now, as a kid, my house was always crowded, always people around. You know, I come from a big old-fashioned, hard-working, stupid family. That's what I come from. What a dumb family I got, you know. Last week, I looked up my family tree. Two dogs were using it. I tell you, I can't relax, you know. Well, the other night, I felt like having a few drinks in a place. I said to the bartender, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. But I'm in a good mood tonight, though, I'll tell you that. I just signed a big contract with General Motors for two years. I bought a new car. I tell you, every time I buy a car, I get stuck. You know, the salesman always says she's a beauty. He never says he's a beauty. And I found out why, because a car and a girl are very much alike. Me with either one, a car or a girl. When you're going to use one, they always lie about the mileage. <laughs> and with either one, a car or a girl, how many times in a cold morning when you really need it, it won't turn over? <laughs> My whole life, all I know was rejection. When I was a kid, my yo-yo, it never came back. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was poor, too. When I was a kid, everybody was poor. No rich kids, only poor kids, that's all. But I was poor. I was so poor, my rich aunt died in a will. I owed her $20. <laughs> I was poor. Oh, once on my birthday, my old man, he showed me a picture of a cake. <laughs> sat there all day trying to blow out the candles. <laughs> now, with kids today, it's different. They got it too good. They don't appreciate it either. It was my boy's birthday last week. Had a little party without the cake. The kid blew out all the candles. I said to him, I hope your wish comes true. He said, if it does, that's the last time you'll watch me blow out candles. <laughs> Smart kid I got. Like the last time I took my kid to Coney Island, I asked him, want to go in a crazy house? He told me to save my money, be home soon. <laughs> and last Christmas of my kid, that was a beauty too. The kid wanted a BB gun. I gave him a BB gun. He gave me a sweatshirt with a bullseye in the back. <laughs> I'll tell you, my kid, he drives me nuts. Well, for three years now, he goes to a private school. He won't tell me where it is. <laughs> Like the kids were tough. All over my face, I had pimples. They used to grab me and play connect the dots. <laughs> the trouble, girl, the only one is looks. The looks don't mean nothing. It's underneath what counts. Soul, depth. That's what's important, not looks. Well, how many times take a walk in the street, you see a tall, handsome man walking arm in arm with a short, fat, ugly girl. I never saw that. Did you ever see that? <laughs> Don't mean nothing. I got a niece, an ugly girl. She got married. She's happy. She married an ugly guy, you know. And today they got two very ugly kids. <laughs> oh, it's nice to hear you laugh. I'll tell you that, really. There's no laughs. I live in a rough neighborhood. Very bad. Forget it, will you? Just last week a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. <laughs> But the first day I moved in, I asked a cop, I said, how long I walk to the subway? He said, I don't know, so far, no one ever made it. <laughs> They're always knocking on my door, asking me to support different movements, drives, causes. Guy knocked on my door last week, told me how the Korean people need our help. I said, if I give just one dollar, then Sue Goo. <laughs> You can't tell the jokes from the straight lines. <laughs> well, my neighbor, they're always coming around, knocking on my door, asking me to support different movements, drives, causes. This guy knocked on my door last week, told me how the Korean people need our help. Said if I give just one dollar, then Sue Gu and his wife and 12 kids are going to have rice for a whole year. They're only going to have rice for a whole year, but the kids will get books and pencils. And Sue Gu can get a new boat. And they can send four kids to college. My Tom would be very happy to give Sugu a dollar if he would show my wife how to stretch a buck that far. 